Well, I think because actually it is complicated and uh, at some point we have to stop trying to oversimplify it to ridiculous levels, which is why we got into this calories mess. It's why we got into the all fats are bad mess. It's why the, you know all sugars and why we're sort of going through this protein craze at the moment is this, uh, you know, rather facile view that we have to be so reductionist to, you know, sell the story to an eight-year-old. And that means that we're using old-fashioned science. We're not using any of the things that we've learned in the last 10 years. And it's also a tool by which manufacturers can hide behind. They hide behind these low-calorie, low-fat labels and don't have to say anything about the quality of the food that we're eating. And they don't say anything about the dozens of extra chemicals that are in this ultra-processed food, which is really behind this this whole thing. Nobody really goes on calorie-controlled diets who's on a you know a whole veg diet and starts choosing uh, you know pears above bananas or whatever. It's generally they do this from pre-packaged goods, ready meals, um, the stuff you buy in takeaways, restaurants, and snacks and uh, ready-made breakfast cereals. And this is now 57% of what the British public uh, consume in calories and probably over 70% in children. So that's the main problem. It's uh, the way that ultra-processed food with its low-calorie, low-fat labels has infiltrated our lives. And it does this in more, more so in our country than any other country in Europe, and only the US beats us on a global basis. So it's really a, a, a tragedy at a, at a national and growingly global scale that we're, we're not recognizing because politically it's difficult to say, uh, you know, people don't want to be the one to say, we're a nanny state, we can't have this stuff. But we know it's making us sick, and um, we wouldn't. You know, we have the same thing. We're very high on health and safety in some areas. Like if there's some cheap toy imported from China that uh, breaks apart and sticks in a kid's mouth, you know, one kid dies, we uh, ban those toys and uh, immediately and there's an outcry. But when millions of people die from eating these foods, uh, we continue to sell them as uh a cheap alternative, and we don't ban them or try and make them more expensive than the healthier versions. So, you know, we, we have a strange culture that has basically ignored this problem, and we don't really seem to have an infrastructure to sort it out.